हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ अरशद कुरेशी फ्रॉम कालसेगर टेक्निकल कैंपस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न ए प्लस बी प्लस ए माइनस बी माइनस इलेक्ट्रोनोमेटिक सर्किट व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू योर सिक्स सेमिस्टर ऑफ मैकेट्रॉनिक्स मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी सी दिस इज योर ए सिलेंडर एंड दिस इज योर बी सिलेंडर ए प्लस बी प्लस ए माइनस बी माइनस इज द सिक्वेंस विच आई वॉन्ट सो फॉर दैट आई हैव पुट द सोलोनाइड्स वाई वन वाई टू वाई थ्री एंड वाई फोर इयर वाई वन सोलोनाइड एंड वाई टू सोलोनाइड what it will do when y1 solenoid gets current it gets actuated and this side gets actuated and a plus operation happens and the piston which is at s1 here will move to s2 similarly when b plus operation happens y3 solenoid gets actuated and the piston moves from s3 to s4 okay and similarly if b minus operation is to be happen it will move from y4 solenoid gets actuated and this will move from s4 to s3 and this for a minus y2 solenoid and this will move for s2 to s1 so how is the construction of this electropneumatic circuit see the whole circuit is between 0 volt and 24 volt line there is a push button here when the current is completed from this line 24 volt line this up and this 0 volt line when the whole sir current is completed see here the push button is open now so therefore the current is not flowing from 24 volt to 0 volt when this whole circuit is completed then the current will be supplied to the k1 coil okay so when this uh, push button is there this push button is has a series has in series a s3 limit switch s3 limit switch which is here for the b cylinder this is the b cylinder it is it has in it is having s3 limit switch which is a normally open switch all the limit switch s1 s2 s3 s4 are the normally open limit switch but here it is shown as closed because it is closed due to the actuation of the end of the cylinder this cylinder is pushing it and the s3 limit switch is closed here also s1 limit switch is closed because the piston is at s1 you can see here the s1 limit switch is shown as closed so this will be in series the first uh, limit switch which will be in series with the push button will be of the last operation the last operation of my circuit is b minus so therefore after b minus this cylinder will come to s3 therefore i have put in series with push button the limit switch s3 then comes my k1 coil as it is closed this k2 contact is also closed this is a normally closed contact this is closed the k1 coil will get the current as soon as the k1 coil gets the current the k1 coil gets actuated and it will close this k1 contact okay and this k1 contact so this as soon as this k1 contact gets closed y1 solenoid gets actuated and my a plus operation gets happened okay and the piston moves from s1 to s2 you just observe it how it is happening see so okay, just observe it now as soon as the push button is pressed the y1 the k1 coil gets energized this is the k1 coil which is in the box it is getting energized and it is closing this k1 contact also and the current is supplied to y1 see the red lines is it is showing the flow of current okay so y1 solenoid is getting the current now and as soon as this cylinder reached s2 this s2 got energized this s2 got closed s2 uh, switch is closed because the of the position of the piston here this piston has moved to s2 and therefore it closed the s2 contact and therefore the current which was coming from here it is now going to y3 also and therefore the piston is moving from s3 to s4 as soon as it will reach s4 this s4 contact will get closed just observe it see so here the s4 contact is closed now because of the position of the piston and the contact the current is going to k2 coil this k2 coil is energized now therefore it is closing this k2 contact which was normally open this is due to the magnetic action of the coil this is a k2 relay coil so it is closing this and it is also opening this normally closed contact so when it gets energized it will open the normally closed contact here k2 and it will close this it is closing this normally open contact therefore k2 coil is energized it is closing this contact and the current is going to y2 y2 just observe it as soon as the current goes to y2 the piston is moving to a minus as soon as it reaches s1 this is closing this s1 is getting closed and the s1 is getting closed y4 gets the current as the y4 is getting the current the piston moves back from s4 to s3 hope you have understand this simple electropneumatic circuit which is a very basic circuit of the uh, electropneumatics and your mechatronics circuit